Welcome back everyone, Houston Math Prep here. We are doing factoring by grouping advanced examples with more than one variable. Uh, so if you're looking to sort of start out and do this new, check out our intro and then check out the uh, basic examples one through four that we have before this in our algebra playlist. Uh, but these are involving more than one variable and a little bit more advanced to do, although same idea. So I would say don't be afraid of these. It's not really that different when we're talking about factoring by grouping. I have 15x squared minus 7xy minus 2y squared. And the idea is still the same. If this factors by grouping, I think about my coefficients a, b, and c, and I will try to regroup my middle term as two like terms. If I look at a times c in this one, uh, 15 times negative two would be negative 30. I will compare that to b, and this one is negative 7. So I am looking for two numbers that multiply to get negative 30 with the same two numbers adding to get negative 7. If I look here, I can see that they multiply to get a negative, so they must be opposite signs of one another, and because they add to get a negative number, the negative number must be bigger than the positive number. So if we think about it for a while, we might come up with the numbers being negative 10 and positive 3. Negative 10 times 3 would give us negative 30, and negative 10 plus 3 will give us negative 7. So the magic numbers that we'll regroup are negative 10 and positive 3. So I keep my first term and I regroup my xy term as two separate xy terms. Keeping it a like term would give me negative 10xy plus 3xy minus 2y squared stays the same. Okay, so now we just do what we've always done. As long as you can swim, it doesn't matter how deep the pool is with factoring by grouping. What is the greatest common factor here? I can pull out a 5, and both terms also have an x in common, so I'm pulling out 5x. If I pull out 5x as the GCF in the first pair, I have 3x left over in the first term, and I have a negative 2y left over in the second term. Remember, when I distribute 5x, 5x times what gives me the first term? 5x times what gives me the second term. That's how I decide. I'm already saying that 3x minus 2y is going to be a factor, so I write down 3x minus 2y, and I ask myself what times this 3x minus 2y will give me the second half. Go one term at a time if you're not sure. What times 3x would give me 3xy? Answer would be a positive y. Double check, does positive y times negative 2y give us negative 2y squared? It does. And now we write our answer. Our inside factor, 3x minus 2y, is part of the answer. Our outside terms, 5x plus y, are our other factor. So this is using factoring by grouping to factor a trinomial with more than one variable. We've got another example two video for multivariable factoring by grouping. Check that one out. We'll see you in the next video.